Hi, this is Dr. Don, the creator of Rocket Math, and here's a seven minute explanation of how to run it. To begin Rocket Math, you must decide what operation you intend to teach to your students first. Generally, begin with addition in first and second grade and subtraction after addition is mastered. Starting in third grade, multiplication has priority even if addition and subtraction are not mastered. Division comes after multiplication has been mastered. Once you've chosen which operation to begin with, you can start setting up the program. To set up your program, you will need to get a file crate and 34 hanging files. Create files A to Z and fill them with about 25 to 30 copies of each practice page. Then create five more files, numbered 1 through 5, and fill them with class sets of the two-minute timings. You can print these out from the subscription website, which serves as your filing cabinet on the web. For the next step in setting up your program, you will need to make a folder for each student. You will add pages from the subscription site, which are organized for you in your filing cabinet on the web. You'll find these in the Forms and Information drawer in the folder named Forms for Every Student. You will staple a rocket chart on the front of each student's folder. Inside, staple a goal sheet on the left and on the right an individual student graph. Voila, now you have your student folders. Please be sure to make an answer key booklet for each student. You find a practice, practice answers booklet under answer keys within each operation. Make these by printing out the practice answers A to Z booklet on a distinctive color of paper and stapling them into packets. Next, print enough copies for all students of the writing speed test found in the forms and information drawer under forms for every student. Then on the first day, give this one minute writing speed test to everyone. Take the information from each student's writing speed test and transfer it to the goal sheet stapled in their folders. Transferring the information from each student's writing speed test onto the goal sheet and use that information to set their individual goals for passing their daily one-minute timings. Now you're ready to teach the daily routine to the students. Here's the daily setup routine. 1. Hand out student folders. 2. Recognize students who passed their previous set. 3. Let them color in the rocket chart for the level they passed. 4. Give them stickers for the wall chart if you have one. Now, you're ready for students to begin practicing. Here's the daily practice routine. Step one, have students practice with their partners. Two, have the students switch roles and practice again. Three, everyone takes the one minute timing. Four, collect the folders. Daily practice is what makes Rocket Math work. The daily practice is paired practice with students working with partners, and it is oral practice with students reading the problems around the outside of the Rocket Math worksheet and then saying answers aloud from memory as they go. Let me repeat, daily practice is what makes Rocket Math work, not the tests. The daily practice is corrected practice, and it's essential that the partner or checker has the answer key packet on colored paper and the packet is turned to the matching page. While students are practicing, all hesitations or errors are to be corrected, and they're corrected immediately. If the student hesitates before saying an answer or makes an error, the checker follows a specific three-step correction or teaching procedure. Step one, the checker interrupts to state the problem and the correct answer. Step two, the checker has the student repeat the problem and the correct answer three times. Three, then the student backs up three problems on the worksheet to give it another try. They're going to have to model and teach these procedures to the students before they can start practicing. This three-step correction procedure, especially for hesitations, really helps the students learn whatever fact they're weak on. It is so important, Rocket Math even has this corrections poster, but you're still going to have to teach it yourself. Four days a week, the students follow the daily practice routine and do the daily one-minute timing. One day a week, the class should do the two-minute timing. 
This monitors progress and the students are expected to graph their weekly results on the individual student graph inside their folder. Here are a couple of tips. When you're collecting folders after the daily one minute test, students who have passed should put their papers in sideways in the folder while the other students put them in straight. Then you only need to check the folders that have papers sticking out. When you're returning the folders, give six copies of the next set to each student who passed, so students who don't pass don't need new sheets every single day. Here are some interventions for students who are stuck. Remember, these students don't need anything different, they just need more practice. So another two to three minute practice session daily or two will help get kids over the hump if they're stuck. Students should have extra blank timings and their answer key packet in their folder at all times so they can readily do an extra practice session. Use other students, volunteers, big buddy, parent helper, whoever to be the tutor or the checker in an extra practice session. Give practices homework and teach parents how to do practice. Encourage students to orally practice the tests also. That's helpful because the test facts are a little bit different than the practice facts around the outside. Finally, students love to use a timer to give themselves practice timings. If they can't pass a test this way, it's just for practice, but a small group can do this together for practice. What to expect from rocket math? Students should be able to practice each set within two to five days if everything is done right. So if they're placed correctly or they start at the beginning of an operation, if they're practicing correctly, saying the whole problem and the answer, if the checkers are correcting hesitations as well as errors, if the writing speed test was used to set goals, and if students who need it get extra practice sessions daily. More help is available at our website.